Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Kai Chan Grace Church Sunday online worship service. Yeah, in this morning, I believe that you're here to worship our Lord God, right? So let's gather our heart together. Let's rejoice in Him. Uh, let's worship His unlimited grace and unending love together. Uh, let me just open up with prayer. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you. You are the only reason that we are thankful and joyful. We thank you for who you are. We thank you again that you opened the way to the Father so we can gather here together and worship you with our heart and mind and soul. And you are my good shepherd. We know that you know every single thing in our life. You know us even better than us. So we just put our trust in you, God. We believe that you will lead us and guide us and feed us and fill us with your hope and your peace. We are your sheep, so we just fix our eyes on you, the only shepherd of our life, and follow you, Lord. And just pray that you would glorify it in every single heart in this morning. Just be high and lift it up. We love you and we exhort you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's sing to it. Down at the cross by my Savior died. cried there to my heart was the blood of life glory to his name down at the cross down at the cross where my savior died down were for cleansing from sin i cried Today. 
Pray together before our Lord God. And this is Psalm 61. When you close eyes, I want you to hear the word of God from the throne of grace. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth, I call to you. I call as your heart grows faint. As my heart grows faint, lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the fall. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings, for you have heard my vows, O God. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Increase the days of the king's life, his ears for many generations. May he be enthroned in God's presence forever. Appoint your love and faithfulness to protect him. Then will I ever sing praise to your name? and fulfill my vows day after day. Amen. <clears throat> Let's pray one another in our culture and great church and all the family, youngsters and elders and brothers and sisters and all our spouses, husband and wife. Pray for them and pray for the, all the sick. Lord God, protect them from all the illness and cover them by the blood of Jesus Christ our healing Just pray someone who are lonely or broken relationships or financial situation they they face on just to pray for them and also pray for this uh, worship service even though we cannot gather in one place but we are in the throne of grace in one place in our Lord Jesus Christ let's pray so in our family, when we worship Father, your holy presence come to our children, our family. And when we worship Father, all the churches and churches get together in Holy Spirit. And we praise your name forever because your name is so blessed. Whatever Holy Spirit tells you, pray one another. Let's pray together. Oh, thank you, Father God. Lo hará 
O oh, Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for your salvation. Thank you for your redemption for all to those who longing and call your name, Jesus Christ. Thank you. you. You called us as your children. We gather together to honor your name and glorify your name forever and ever. Because who you are, Father God. Thank you, Father, in our culture and great church, all the church family. Father, bless them. When they call upon your name and ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, please, Father, answer us. Please come to the sick and touch them by healing power by the blood of Jesus Christ, Father God. And apply your blood all our church family's house and all the children and adults and parents, Father. Let them feel that your holy presence in there. But we are not by we are not live by faith, not live by feeling, but by faith, Father. True faith on Jesus Christ. Jesus, you are the anchor of a holy temple. So nobody is shaking us up. We are stand on sound foundation, the name of Jesus Christ. So Father, we live by faith every single moment. Thank you, Father God, for your grace. Bless all our Couch and Great Church family who are now worshiping now, Father. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. God is so good all the time. Amen. Amen. Our God is always good. Good, good, good Father. Okay. Uh, uh, we have a church news, as you know that, home online worship service until further notice. So just uh, keep that in mind and pray one another. This is a long, long time we cannot gather. So, so sad, but we are longing and looking forward to see you, seeing you one day. And time to offering time. Give offering to your altar and family, and, and then just let's pray. Father, thank you, Lord God. We come to you with, with faith on Jesus Christ because you, you called us as your children. And thank you, Father God. You give us great privilege to give you. You are nothing lack anything. But you gave everything to us, Lord. This is a little token of our love to you, Lord God. And also, everything from you, just I share just take a part to you, this offering for your kingdom. Father, use this uh, offering for your kingdom and accept all our tithe and all kind of offering to your hands, Father God. Thank you. Bless all the church family who gives. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> our today's word, the sower, number one, the parables of Jesus, uh, number seven, uh, we're going to divide this over four times, and this today is the first one, Mark chapter four, verse three to four. Before we read the word, we can say one another, you are so beautiful, handsome, lovely, and awesome. Would you say that one another? Okay, you are so beautiful, handsome, lovely, and awesome because God made you. Amen, amen. Okay, are you ready to read together? Okay, then go. Listen, behold, a sower went out to sow. And it happened, as he sowed, that some seed fell by the wayside, and birds of the air came and devoured it. Everyone says, Amen. 
<coughs> Let's pray. Father, thank you, Lord God. We humbly be for you, Lord God. Because we want to hear your voice. Please, Father God, hide me. Only your words spread out to your beautiful children. So when your children listen to your word, word, Father God, give us a heart to obey whatever you say this morning. And thank you, Father, for every Sunday you speak to us. And through this parables of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. We give all the glory to you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. A um, couple of years ago, the President Trump, he said that, literally, they're going to make a big, big, big wall between the border between United States and Mexico because they don't want an illegal immigrant to come to the United States. It's funny saying, but it, it didn't happen. But you know what? Long, long time ago in China, the country named Qin, they built big wall. The, they said the Great Wall of China. You know, the height is 9 meter and length is 8,851.8 kilometers. Yeah, really big. So when they make this great wall and then they feel like we are safe because we have big wall, nobody attack us. But you know what? They, they attacked by other countries. They disappeared. What happened? Even though they have big wall, what happened? Because everywhere they have a door, the door gate, they got bribe money from enemy. They opened the door. Would you come in? It, they just, it, it doesn't matter. They have big wall. Because the just guard take money. You know, sometimes in our life, we feel safe, like oh, because I have money, I have good education, I have good relationship with other good people. This is like my wall. Great, yeah. If you have money and lots of money, feel like oh, I'm, I'm feel safe. My future. This money keep me safe and guard me, my heart is so filled peace. But a little tiny healthy issue, the great wall falling down easily. And a little tiny quarter between spouse, the relationship will be broken very easily. So many grumbles, so many complaints, so many unbelief on God. Tiny things. They open the door of this feeling safe wall. You know what? Our heart is very important. If you, you, if you keep your heart, you have a life. And the Bible said that. And Jesus Christ, he mentioned about today's very important lesson about heart. But people, they don't understand. Even though this is very, very important message. And Jesus said this, this parable, the, the parable of the sower, if you don't understand this sower parable, then you never understand any other parables. Did Jesus really mention that? If you don't understand this sower parable, you don't understand any other parables. Yes, he mentioned that. Mark chapter 4, 13 said, and he said to them, Do you not understand this parable? This parable mentioned was sower. <coughs> How then will you understand all the parables? Kind of this is key. Key of the gate of the, all the parables of the kingdom of God and Jesus Christ. So we should understand, we should, we must understand this parable. Okay, you just start like this. What is that? 
four parables about seed. In the pathway and stony ground and thorny and good soil, the seeds spread out there. And one by one, and Jesus mentioned about our today's first one, is about pathway. Listen, Jesus said, that, Behold, a sower went out to sow. Okay, let's start with what? Sower. But before Jesus mentioned of a sower, he said what? Listen. Listen, behold. This listen meaning is, in the Greek word, meaning is you should listen. Not okay. If you don't want to listen, it's okay. No, it's not. This is a very important, essential word of kingdom of God. You should listen. Like a mom have to go early in the morning, she she appointment and go out somewhere to meet somewhere. But only son, he left. And mom said to son, son, would you turn off the gas? I put on the food on there. Would you turn off before you go to school? The son said, okay, I'm going to turn it off, the gas. No problem. Do you think this is important or not? What if this son forget about turn off the gas? This really disaster happened, right? The Jesus mentioned about the lesson. This is very, very important. And he said, Behold, a sower went out to sow. He mentioned about a sower. Who is the sower? Who is the sower? Jesus mentioned about who is the sower. The sower who saw the word of God. You know, Mark chapter 4, 14 said, The sower sows what? The word. Jesus already explained about it. The word. Who saw the word? Who saw the word of God? The one who speak. Jesus Christ. You know, Hebrews chapter 1 and 3 said that the Son is the radiant of God's glory and exact representation of His being. Sustaining all things by His powerful Word. He created all universe by His Word and He just said, okay, let all the universe go. No. He what? He's still sustaining all things. You and sun and moon and stars and, and waters and storms and everything. Sustaining all things by His powerful word. Amen. Amen. He's still sustaining you. Because He's a sower. He spread a seed. The word of God to us. That powerful seed, the word is so really powerful and vivid and living one. Because that is seed. You know, in my garden, we never planted any, any, any flower or any f- plant. But suddenly we saw that tulips come up and suddenly some, uh, some the, the plant like a prune tree come up. What happened? What happened? Maybe previous owner put on the seed on there. It comes because it has what? Power of life. What about the word of God? The word of God is also living. And with this word, make people get a salvation. So first Peter chapter 1, 23, he mentioned about the having been born again. Not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible. Amen. Through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. Amen. This living word, the living seed is spread out to us. Amen. To you. Amen. So this word grows. This precious word makes people living and spread out. And first put on where? It dropped. On the pathway. Hmm. 
What does the Bible say that? And it happened, as he sowed, that some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds of the air came and devoured it. What is that? The seed in your heart. But your heart is like a wayside and pathway. That the words, do you think it grows? No. The birds came and devoured it. Think about it. The word out of his mouth, God's mouth, the word, the seed, the truth, the real truth. Through that, people get saved. People get become children of God. But the heart of the accept that seed. What about this pathway heart? Literally, is really hard, not soft one. When you, when you put on the seed on the hard concrete ground, no way. You have to ground, make soft, and from there, and water it, and it's grow. What do you want to put on in your heart? In your heart, there is a living word, and your heart is still in the pathway, then what happened? It's hardened. Ephesians chapter 4, 18 said that they are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God. Wow. What is that? They are darkened in their understanding. They cannot understand what God said to us. What is that? We don't know. We, don't, we never guess anything. In the Bible said Jesus and Jesus cursed. He hang on the tree. Whoever hang on the tree is cursed. When you read the Bible, what is mean by that? Jesus is cursed. I thought Jesus is holy one. But what did Jesus say that? What does the Bible say that? Jesus cursed because of you, because of me. So how the Bible talk about it, maybe when you read, it, oh, Jesus cursed, I don't, I don't want to believe Jesus Christ. Then your heart is darkened. They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God. Life of God shines through you, but separated. Why? What happened? Because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. It's like heart of pathway. If your heart is still hard, you cannot fathom His grace. You cannot. You, you just separate from the life of God. If your heart is, heart is hardened, the life of God is walk away. You know Jonah, he's a good prophet. Yeah, good prophet. He, he loved God's word. But one day God said, Jonah, Jonah, go to Nineveh. Jonah obeyed. No. I can do whatever you say except but that country. I don't like them. They open a tag us. I don't like them to share the gospel. So he fled to Tarsus. He take a Big boat, like a big ferry. After he deny, after he reject the word of God, what happened? He's just powerless. He have nothing. He, he doesn't want to do anything. All he have to do is just laying down and sleep and sleep and sleep. Sometimes when people and sleep and sleep and sleep, sleep the one reason is depression. Second reason, they're far from the word of God. They disobey the word of God. They, they walk away from God's love. So they just sleep and sleep and sleep. It, even wave and, 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 and the storming and seems like this boat and this ferry is coming down. Everyone up there is so scared and screaming. But in there, 
he is just sleeping because he has good faith? No. He just walk away. The true power. He's walk away. True love. The, he, he walk away from the face of God. He's just powerless. He, does, he doesn't want to do anything. You know, I'm really concerned about church. Not because this pandemic time of online service. Church seems like a sleeping now. They are sleeping now. Why? Because sometimes we are dark in our heart or, or hard in our heart. When you see this world, we have no pity. Don't no share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Maybe in our heart, maybe we say that I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It's only me. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. That's all. Then our heart is already hardened like a pathway. It's already been 10 years and 20 years I believe in Jesus Christ and no change there at all. We are still, our heart is like a pathway. You know, the powerful, precious words come to us, in us, in our heart. How could it not change at all? How could it still enjoy the simple things? The powerful word and li living word and change our life, but still not changed? Because of our heart is hardened. You know, even Satan knows that. They see this word so powerful. Not living just to let, let this, this seed grow. No. Matthew chapter 4, 4 says what it said. And, what it, and it happened as he saw the some seed fell by the wayside. And the birds of the air came and devoured it. The birds came and devoured it. Eat it right away. And what is the other, the, Jesus explained about this situation. And these are the ones by the wayside where the word is sown. When they hear, when you hear the word of God right now, if your heart is hardened, Satan, what? Satan comes immediately and takes away the word. Takes away the word that was sown in their, what? Heart. Because our heart is hardened like a pathway. And word of God, now you listen, you hear the word of God in your heart. The right away, Satan and grab it and eat it. Take away to not grow in you, the living one. How could Satan come immediately and take away this precious word? Because Satan knew that this word so powerful, this word changed our life. Satan knew that. But we don't. This is sad. In the Pharisees, Jesus mentioned about so many good words. And Jesus spread out the, the seed and word of God and they denied because Jesus looking appears. I don't like you. You work on the Sabbath. I don't like your word. I don't want to listen. You, you all the word is, I already knew that. I heard that many times about this sower. The, the parable of the sower, I, I heard that so many times, sick and tired. They said it's nothing. You know? It's powerful word to them. It's nothing. Why? They don't understand why. Because their heart is like hardened pathway. Satan already came and grabbed it. You know, Matthew chapter 13, 13 said that. Therefore, I speak to them in parables. Because seeing, they do not see. And hearing, they do not hear, nor they, do they understand. What did you just mention? They don't understand. That is a parable. 
you know, parable of Jesus Christ is unhidden. Uncover the secret, the precious, the word, the will of God and plan of God for you. But what happened? Through this parable, foolish like me, understand the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. When little children, they understand through this parable. But Pharisees, teachers of law, they are, they are well educated, smart ones. They don't get it. What do you mean by the sores and on the pathway or, or the rocky road and the thorn bushes and, and, and the good soil? What do you mean by that? I don't get it. You know, Jesus said that already. And verse 16 said, But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Amen. If you hear the word of God, this is blessing. And he said to them, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. You know, we are so blessed to hear the word of God, but let Satan come and grab your precious word in your heart. If your heart is still hardened, Satan come, your enemy, immediately he devoured it. He who has ear to hear, let him hear. What is, what is hearing meaning? You have to meditate the word of God. I have done that, but nothing changed my life. Really? I've been reading the whole Bible, but nothing changed a lot. Really? Have you ever read one book? We should meditate the word of God and make this word grow in our heart good soil. What is that? If the words grow, you are so blessed. Joshua chapter 1, he said that this book of the law, the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate it in it day and night. What is the Bible said? You shall meditate in it. In this word, you dig in and meditate and thinking over and over and, and loving the word of God. And day and night, you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then, you will make your way prosperous. And then you will have good success in Jesus Christ. Amen. We should, listen. We should receive the word of God. You know, as your pastor, this is my job, right? Preaching the gospel. And Saturday... I stick in my house and all day long I prepare the word. Seems like, oh, you just said 30 minutes, you preaching is nothing. What are you going to teach in this Sunday? Maybe just one hour preparing the word is good enough. Maybe, yeah. But all day, all day, all week I'm thinking about what should I preach? What should I preach? I meditate the word. And Saturday all day long. Okay, you, because you're a pastor. Oh, good, all right, then. The word of God is only for the pastor? Pastor only read the word, and pastor only meditate the word, and pastor only preach the gospel? Then you speak to me, I, I'm going to listen to your word 30 minutes every Sunday. Is that all? Are you ready to listen to the word of God? Not, not Pastor Joy's word. The word of God. And Sunday, all day long, you watching or gaming all day long. And then in the early morning, you, you're not focused on the word. You're not ready. It's like a pathway heart. Whatever, okay. I'll, I will listen to your word. Don't expect too much. Is that right? 
If someone talk about uh, politics or economics and social things or health things and money things, our, our ears are ready to hear. Okay, tell me about stock. Tell me about which one is increased. Tell me about how, how, can I, how can I increase my money. But if I preach the gospel of the kingdom of God, no interest. That heart is like a pathway. Hardened. Are you now listening the word of God as disciple of Jesus Christ or just a multitude? When Jesus spread the gospel, so many people they listen the word of God. Just listen. And when their interest is different, then they crucify Jesus Christ. Where is 5,000 people which you just feed them? They raise their hand to Pilate and crucify Jesus, crucify Jesus. Just a multitude. Listening the word of God is good. But real good, I want you to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. I want you, your heart makes softened. Then God's word spread out your heart and, and grow in your heart. Then how can I? How can I change my pathway heart? Hardened heart, soft, like a good soil. All need Jesus. We need Jesus Christ. Jesus should come in our heart and plant all the things and, and, and make our heart soft. But Jesus is gentle. He not break in your heart. He's so gentle. He's waiting. You open the door for him. Revelation chapter 3 verse 20 said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Have you ever heard the knocking sound in your heart? Jesus want to keep coming to you. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. Amen. Amen. We should open our heart. You know, sometimes I, I visit the church family's house. Someone opened the door and, Pastor, would you come in? I'm already full and would you, would you eat and drink? I love, I like it. Even though I'm, I'm full, I, I eat it. But some church family, they have reason to not to come, let, let me come in their house. Then I wait outside and pray and go home. You know what that means? Even pastor, not break doors. No, no, I should come in your house. And I should live, sit on your couch and living room and I want to share the gospel. No, I just wait. Because if somebody not want me to come in, I just wait outside. How much more God and Jesus Christ, He waiting. He is waiting for you to open the door and He want to come to you and eat with you, live forever. Until when? Until you have an opportunity. When Jesus come back, you have no chance no more you know when you have an opportunity open your heart and accept jesus christ as your savior and lord and ask him lord god my heart is already hardened please make a heart soft good soil so when you speak to me every sunday or every day when you when we meditate the word of god that living words grow in our heart, 30 times, 6 times, 100 times. Through these fruits, I want to give glory to God, Father. So today, Jesus mentioned about this parable of a pathway. Keep that in mind. His word already spread in your heart. Is your heart still listen and and the Memorize the word of God. It's good. God will God bless you.
but you already forget about that, maybe Satan come. You don't, want, you don't want to accept, you just reject. It's Satan come and devour it already. But you should ask, it's never late. You should ask Jesus Christ, come your heart. He will help you. Let's pray together. Father, thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your word this morning. Yes, Lord. This parable is so precious and important. Every Sunday, one by one, we want to learn and understand what you say this morning. Father, bless all our church family who listen to your word. Don't let birds, don't let Satan come and devour this living word. If this living words grow in our heart, we totally changed. But Satan blood, Lord God. So please, before too late, plow all our heart in the heart and let our heart be good soil, Father. And we want to bless your name and we want to make a good fruit and we want to glorify your name forever. Thank you, Father, for your word this morning. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of Father God, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all forever and ever. Everyone says, Amen, Amen.